Weather Authority. We warn you first. Cold breeze and cloudy conditions are dominating the basin this morning. A live look at Odessa. We see the Odessa Marriott in the distance and the light above it because of the clouds. Low clouds at that. No precipitation is falling in Midland and Odessa right now. But I'm tracking some snow, mostly south and west of us, as we could be seeing accumulating snow in those areas, but not here in Odessa and Midland. Cold conditions today, but warmer and drier as we head closer to the weekend. But taking a look at this week's weather photo winner, it's Ernest Rodriguez of, yeah, not the cloudy skies, but the, the clear skies on Friday morning in Odessa. This is a contrail cloud that is colored in pink and also in some bright red colors. That's because of the morning sunrise. Kind of a beautiful scene. This contrail cloud is formed from the exhaust from airplanes, from the engine of those airplanes. So pretty cool stuff. Very high altitude clouds, clear conditions, and that was before a cold front came through. and. That was one of the cold fronts that we've been seeing over the past really several days. This past cold front is one of the stronger ones. And with that, when you combine that with precipitation, we have some snow south and west of us, mostly south and west of Pecos, even along I-20 as well. We could be seeing accumulating snow in Marfa, Alpine, Fort Davis, and the Van Horn Mountains. So the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory in those areas for one to three inches of snow. Locally, higher amounts are not possible. And whether it's rain or snow that we'll be seeing today in the basin, we need that precipitation. The latest update within the drought monitor, widespread severe to extreme drought in these oranges and reds. Extreme drought extending from Fork Stockton all the way up to La Mesa, including Odessa and Midland and also in the southern and western basin. So we really need the precipitation and unfortunately very light precipitation. So it's not going to do much of a dent in the drought monitor, but these temperatures are going to be the big story because it's much colder than 24 hours ago, warming up only in the 30s. So it's about 25 to 30 degrees colder than 24 hours ago and these temperatures are as much as 25 to 30 degrees below normal. So yeah, it's really feeling like winter here in the basin today. Widespread 20s this morning. They're really not going to be warming up too much for the rest of the day by later in the morning. Still in the upper 20s and lower 30s. Low to mid 30s by the afternoon commute and by the evening hours dropping back into the 20s and by overnight we could be seeing temperatures as much as 25 degrees or more below normal in the upper teams with drier conditions and cold conditions along with mostly clear skies and light winds. At least those wind chills won't be as bad. Any snow showers ending I think by the early afternoon again mostly in the southern and western basin. Peaks of sunshine later today in clearing skies overnight by tomorrow morning mostly sunny skies for the rest of the afternoon high temperatures warming up into the mid to upper 40s and lower 50s with fairly light winds and again very dry conditions and as we head into the weekend that's going to be the big story but a little bit more in the way of clouds and the increase throughout the weekend and by early next week we have our next best chance of precipitation.